Just before we get into this video guys, if you want to follow me on social media, on Twitter and Instagram, the links are here. And if you also want to support me on Patreon as well and help out my channel, that would be absolutely awesome as well. But, let's get on with the video. Hey guys, it is Wingy here and welcome back to another edition of Ranking Doctor Who. Now, I haven't done this for a while, but let's get back into it. So this time we're going to be talking about Davros because we have had a fair amount of actors now who have taken on the role. And I thought some of them are quite good, some of them are not. So let's rank them. Now Davros as a character I think is absolutely fascinating. I don't think that every single Davros story has totally done the character justice, but I do think that the performances overall have been fairly strong. However, not all of them have, but obviously we're going to get into it. As always with videos like this though, it is just my opinion, so if you happen to disagree, that is totally fine. But for now, let's talk about the different Davros's Davri. So straight away at the bottom of this list I'm going to go with David Goodison who only played Davros in the one story which was Destiny of the Daleks which isn't actually a good story at all. I recently did a review of it on Patreon and to be honest as a kid I actually really liked the story but going back to it recently it's a real slog to get through. One of the major issues about it as well is that we have David Goodison as Davros, somebody who clearly isn't right for that part. Especially considering that the previous story had Davros in it with a much superior actor, as you will later find out. To go from Michael Wisher to David Goodison is a huge step down. The problem with his performance is the fact that one, he doesn't sound like Davros. He doesn't really sound like a Dalek in any way, shape or form. The mask that he is wearing is clearly the one that Michael Wisher wore which was made for Michael Wisher and therefore isn't going to properly fit David Goodison, which means that you get this weird sort of tight jaw and his mouth doesn't move that well. Plus it's a bit lopsided, so the jaw sort of goes like that and the mouth is sort of kind of like that. He obviously doesn't know how to operate the chair properly because every time he moves, instead of it just being him in a chair gliding, as we have seen with every other Davros, he's bobbing around everywhere. You can literally see him peddling this big fucking Dalek skirt base and it just looks ridiculous. David Goodison also does some Dalek voices in Destiny of the Daleks and they are quite bad also. So overall, I've got to say that David Goodison is the weakest Davros out of all of them and this one was probably the easiest place on the list. Next up, I feel like it's a shame that this next Davros is in third because I genuinely think that these next three are fantastic. But obviously as it is a ranking list, I am going to have to put somebody in third place. And so number three is going to go to Julian Bleach. Now Julian Bleach is of course the only Davros thus far that we have had in the new series. He's appeared in a couple of stories now, one with David Tennant, one with Peter Capaldi. And his performance is fantastic, I must admit. I was really tossing up these three Davros people. I think whilst his performance is great, there's something about it and I think the stories that he's been in have not been a patch on some of the stories that both Terry Malloy and obviously Genesis with Michael Wisher, I just feel like there's something about his performance that just keeps it here for now, as opposed to up here for the other two. But don't get me wrong though, introducing Davros into the new series was always gonna be a difficult task. However, I think Julian Bleach perfectly embodies everything that Michael Wisher did all the way back in 1975. For me, he has got a nice blend of Michael Wisher and also Terry Malloy. I think he has got that big, maniacal ego that Michael Wisher had but he can also take it down a notch and do the quieter moments like Terry Malloy did. The problem is whilst he's great at them I feel like those quieter moments that Terry Malloy did are better done by Terry Malloy and likewise the big shouty moments are done better by Michael Wisher. The makeup though for this one I thought was phenomenal. I think what ruined Julian Bleach's Davros for me isn't necessarily him but it was the moment in the witch is familiar where he opens his eyes. Now I've been very vocal about this on my channel before but I just fucking hate it. And that's not Julian Bleach's fault, I am well aware of that. But seeing him sat there with his real eyes but they look like fucking googly eyes, it takes a massive thing away from Davros's character. I always saw Davros as this character who literally had his eyes burnt shut and therefore was blinded 
by hatred. Nice little metaphor there, but Stephen Moffat just came in and thought, you know what, fuck it, let's have him open his eyes because maybe it'll be more emotional. But in fact, it just didn't work. Julian Bleach is a creepy dude though. If you've seen the Torchwood episode with him in it, then you'll know what I mean. And I think somebody like that was perfect for Davros. And I think for a modern audience, he is perfect for Davros. I think overall in the grand scheme of things though, like I say, he's just a, a level below the other two for me. Now these next two was really difficult to decide. I genuinely was struggling for a long, long time because Michael Wisher is very, very iconic as Davros, but also Terry Malloy has appeared the most as Davros, not only on screen, but also off screen as well in audios. But I think for me, Terry Malloy narrowly misses out on being the number one Davros. Terry Malloy's Davros I thought was fantastic because he added a new layer and a new dimension to the character of Davros. Like I was kind of saying then with Julian Bleach, he has quieter moments. He can do those moments where he tries to reason with the Doctor. That moment in Resurrection of the Daleks where, you know, the whole he comes in and he's like, I'm not here as your prisoner, I'm here as your executioner. That scene is fantastic. And I think also the moment in Revelation of the Daleks where he's explaining that dead are being converted into food. I think Terry Malloy has such a menace, yet subtlety with his performance. And what comes across in his performance is the character that we saw in Genesis has evolved. He has matured somewhat. He still has the same views. He still has his same ego. He still has all of that stuff, but he has more experience now as well. The makeup design for Terry Malloy is also quite interesting because it almost looks like Davros has melted a bit. Don't get me wrong, it's a great mask and I love the mask, but it is a bit, well, it's not a bit. It is very noticeably different from the original mask, which is fine. You know, they were going to update it for the 1980s. Davros hadn't appeared for like, what, five years by the time Resurrection came along after Destiny. So, and clearly, like I said, for David Goodison, the mask didn't fit for him anyway, so they needed a new one. But yeah, I like the maturity of this Davros, even though he is exactly the same character, he just goes about things slightly different way. He's almost charming, almost, but he still has that sinister and creepy edge about him. Don't get me wrong, Terry Malloy can still do the shoutiness and the screaminess. I don't think he does it as effectively as Michael Wisher, but when he does it, he is very good at it. I mean, for me, the 1980s Dalek stories are some of the best, and I think a major part of that is Terry Malloy as Davros. He's such a great manipulator as well, particularly in Revelation of the Daleks. The character of Davros is a fascinating one, like I said at the start of this video. I think no actor has been as fascinating to watch in that role as Michael Wisher. For me, as much as I love Tom Baker, you guys know he's my favorite doctor, I would say that Michael Wisher totally and utterly steals the show throughout Genesis of the Daleks. I don't think there's anybody that comes close to him in terms of his performance and his watchability. Michael Wisher's Davros is probably the most delusional out of all of them as well. To him, everything that he says and everything that he does is 100% the truth and anybody that deviates from that is an enemy and they must be exterminated. He basically just embodies the Daleks, which obviously would make sense considering that this is the guy who created them and put his own beliefs and his faith into them. But I think it's Michael Wish's performance that you understand more about the Daleks as villains. Those creatures didn't naturally evolve. They were just bred from one man's viewpoint, which was totally and utterly fucking warped. There's so many moments in Genesis of the Daleks where Davros is just totally in control and you just can't take your eyes off of him. I think the benefit as well with Michael Wisher is the fact that he was somebody who did do Dalek voices in previous stories. I, and so he already has that affinity with the Dalek voice. So when it comes to seeing him as Davros, you automatically buy him as, ah, okay, so that's where they got it from. You see this guy literally put himself into this entire race of beings and those moments where the doctor and davros are talking in this story particularly the bit about the virus the way that davros is saying these things and it's not necessarily just terry nation's script but it's the way that michael wisher is saying them he almost makes davros sound reasonable we've all met people before i'm sure where you speak to them and you think what your viewpoint is just totally fucking wrong i do not understand it but for some reason, that person just totally believes it. And when you see Michael Wisher 
as Davros. He is the embodiment of that. He believes every single thing that he is saying. You as the audience feel like this guy is a lunatic, but to him, he doesn't think that. And the nuances in Michael Wish's performances, the way he will change his voice, the way that he will move his hands slowly and delicately, even though he hasn't really got a face, you can almost see facial expressions from the guy. He is absolutely fantastic, and without a shadow of a doubt, the best Davros to me. So in the comments below guys, let me know what you think. Who are your favourite Davroses? Do you agree with my list? Do you not? Whatever it is, let me know down below. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure that you leave a like on it, subscribe for more, social media and Patreon links will be in the description below, as always. So if you would follow me and support me on any of those things, then I would absolutely love you forever. But until next time guys, you take care of yourselves, goodbye. Do I suit hats? I don't know if I do, but my hair's fucking shit, so we're wearing it. I always envisioned him. I always envisioned... I always saw Davros.